Peace, blessings, and salutations. My name is Yurima Karama. I um, wanted to talk about a few issues in this uh, segment, just real brief. I'm going to be real quick, um, but I found this interesting. This this feed came, actually a friend of mine uh, uh, tagged me in this feed that I got through on Facebook, so I wanted to share it with, y'all, with you all. Uh, we're going to talk about this, uh, probably going to a little about Beyonce and uh, Tamir Rice, uh, but check this out. I, I, I find this, I, I actually, I'm not surprised by it. Uh, but uh, just check this out. Listen, listen closely. I hope you guys can hear it. This is Owendale. This is Owendale. A community that you and your husband founded? Uh, yeah, you can say that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and what's special about it? Special about it is the fact that we are only white people staying in the town. Yeah. Only white people are al- allowed to buy in the town. But I saw a black gentleman uh, on his way out just now. That's right. They're working for us, uh, but they're not allowed to stay in the town. We, as white people, aren't supposed to be ruled by blacks. Now, from the way we look at it, you see, you're not ruled by blacks. It's basically a, uh, a multiracial government. And second of all, what would be a problem with having blacks in the government anyway? Just the fact that because of our religion, it's not meant to be that way. God created uh, not even animal as equal. If you look at nature, nothing in the nature is equal. Basically what it boils down to is he says those that I chose. And who did he choose? The white people. So where does that leave non-whites? Well, the way we see it, they've got no chance. What about if you've just, you're just you like one sixteenth non-white? No. Uh, one thirty-second. One sixty-fourth. That's basically what it all boils down, all boils down to. God doesn't want us to mix, and that's why we stay apart from the blacks. You make it sound almost as though we're a different species. Could be. Very possible. Mickey wanted to show me how her dream of a whites only town was progressing, so she took me on a tour. In the town at the moment, there is 15 houses, 15 families. Most of the houses are three, four bedroom houses. So anyway, I got to that part and stopped there because uh, notice uh, as as the video goes further, uh, you see all these black people working. Uh, so just to give you a little history first, I don't know what time period this is. I don't know what year this is, but I do know that this is in Africa. Uh, this woman has basically, um, bought, uh, land, her and her husband, um, and purchased this land. And now only people, only white people can buy, uh, blacks can come to work, but they can't purchase anything. They can't buy anything, Uh, you know, so obviously this isn't close to where President Mugabe is because I I just think he would just take the land and kick their white asses out. But in any case, I I found it, uh, I wanted to share that because I think on a larger scale, uh, it it might not always be stated, but when we talk about white racism worldwide, um, I think that this gets to the root of it. And she, it's funny because she used the word religion. She said, our religion. Take it for what it's worth. Take it for what it's worth. But uh, that sentiment isn't just with that woman. Uh, that sentiment probably lies with a large portion of the white population. Uh, that actually believe that 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 black should be nothing more than than workers, um, which takes me into my next subject, which is Beyonce. And I was asked to uh, to speak on this subject of, uh, uh, from from a friend who uh, basically sent me a message and said, "Hey, I would I would like to know what your thoughts are." My thoughts are simple: is that uh, first of all, I didn't really uh, partake in the festivities of the Super Bowl. Uh, simply because once you see the same picture played over and over again, uh, it quite frankly, once you're able, you're able to read it, it becomes boring. So uh, I didn't partake in the Super Bowl because I knew 
that the media was going to subliminally, uh, and it's always the subliminals, they were going to subliminally uh, set up this white quarterback, black quarterback uh, scenario. Uh, with the hopes, of course, of the white quarterback prevailing. Uh, that's always the underlying factor. When you really look at the game, from what I'm understanding, the the uh, MVP basically was a, a black guy on the defense for Denver. But all the props went to Peyton Manning. Uh, uh, so I, I, I didn't watch it because I knew what was coming. But however, I did view... Um, go online and did view the uh Super Bowl Super Bowl festivities and uh or the halftime uh analogy of of Beyonce doing what she does. Um quite frankly, I'm not a big fan of Beyonce. Haven't been uh since she's been out and it's not that I dislike her for any particular reason. I just um I've I've never been a fan of 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 her and she does have a few good songs that that I do like. Uh, but I've just never really been a fan. With that said, um, hey, she did her thing, loved it, uh, you know. And for those that didn't, for the uh, for the people who were offended, such as Giuliani, uh, hey, be offended. Uh, for you know, for the people that uh, this Tommy Lauren who does this uh, uh news broadcast, uh. Hate to tell you, Blondie, but uh, yeah, Beyonce's much more popular than you, so her voice will always be heard before yours, even though I don't really care for her. So uh, you sometimes just have to take that. You know, this is a part of our history, and uh, quite frankly, it's Black History Month. So nobody should be offended by what she did at the Super Bowl, because uh, Black Panther Party was a part of Black history. So, <clears throat> and also, I think a good word is, and, you know, the media, they will try to drive certain things uh, because the word of the day is diversion. So, while they're uh, trying to divert the attention, my mind is on water, uh, food, uh, what they're putting in the water supply that could possibly wipe out whole communities, whole populations of people. Uh, my mind is on Flint, so I'm not getting caught up in the antics of uh, what Beyonce did. I think what she did was was it just fine with me. Uh, you know, I had no problem with it. Uh, and for those that did, like I said, uh, too bad. So moving on now to Tamir Rice. Uh, this is what I find uh, somewhat hilarious. So, the city of Cleveland, specifically the, uh, uh, I think it's the medical department, they want to charge the estate, the family of Tamir Rice, I think something like $500 uh, for his care when they transported his body uh, from, from the scene, from the scene where he was murdered by the cop. Um, they, they want to charge that family, uh, 500 bucks. The attorney for the, for the estate or the attorney for the family, um, said that he found this disturbing and insensitive. Uh, yeah. He was politically correct. I, however, will put on my black Donald Trump hat and say, uh, I find it, uh, quite frankly, racist, uh, for lack of a better term. Um, how about, uh, city of Cleveland? Uh, how about F U with a capital F and a capital Y? Uh, how about Cleve, uh, city of Cleveland. How about, uh, you want your $500? Uh, get it like Tyson. Um, how about city of Cleveland? How about if the family decides that they're not going to pay you, what are you going to do about it? Kill them like you did their 12 year old son, you cowards. Uh, so the, you know, <clears throat> when we get these tidbits of news, Sometimes you have to laugh, but sometimes what, what it does is it, it not, not sometimes, but all the time, it lets you know the mentality of the people that you're dealing with. This family's in grieving. They've lost their son. You've already decided not to charge the cop. Now you want to charge them? Uh, 
take it out of the taxes, man. Um, I tell you what, uh, get it after after they're dead. How about that? Uh, you know, I, I I don't know what to tell you, uh, but uh, to the family of Tamir Rice, if you see this, I wouldn't give them a goddamn penny, not a red cent. Uh, and if you do, I'm gonna be wondering about you. You shouldn't pay them nothing. Um, how about how about city of Cleveland? Uh, how about we work out a deal? Give them their 40 acres and you guys keep the mule. How about that? Uh, so this is Yurima Karama, man, coming to you. You got to laugh at this, man, to stop from crying. You got to laugh to stop from crying. Peace, blessings, and salutations, man.